I first remember meeting President Banda on another very sad occasion, which was at the funeral of President Munawasa. It was on that occasion and on many others, I was struck by his charm, his warmth and kindness, his father-like character, for he had such a gentle and uniting and wonderful personality. I always used to say to him, I thought he was too nice to be a politician. I don't mean that all politicians are not nice. Some are nice. But but there are others who are definitely not. So when you think of the rough and tumble of politics, its unpleasantness, sometimes its divisiveness, how it can be dirty by nature. I could not imagine such a decent person like him engaging in such a political arena. I can also remember when, he, when we used to attend occasions like SADC summits, you could tell that here was a leader who represented his country, Zambia, very diligently and passionately and cared so much for our region and its people, speaking comprehensively and with well thought out interventions on any subject. Even after his presidential term of office, despite the false accusations against him and the challenges that he faced from his successor, which is what I am also going through, <laughs> he was not bitter nor did it change the man he was. He continued giving his wise counsel right to the end. And when he invited me to visit him here in Zambia just a few weeks ago, despite his frail condition, he was the perfect host with his trademark kindness and generosity. We discussed also our involvement, his and mine, in a new initiative to be taken place in one of the countries in our region. Whilst I was here also, I also had the opportunity during that visit to pay a courtesy call on His Excellency Mr. Hichilema. I came away from that meeting with the President so impressed with his vision and plans for Zambia and its people. I remember that when I was new in office, we were hit by a world recession just like President Banda and how that negatively affected the plans I had for my country. And you also, Your Excellency, President Hichilema, inheriting what you did, plus the COVID pandemic, and your plans for the post-COVID economic recovery. And now also, on top of that, we have this senseless war waging, which is being waged by Vladimir Putin on the people of Ukraine, killing the elderly, the disabled, killing women, killing children, killing pregnant women. The economic impact is already being felt and it will get worse. But you, Your Excellency, HH, I don't know, am I allowed to call you HH? Thank you. 
You are the best man during these challenging times to lead your nation, Zambia, through this. I hope, I hope the people of Zambia will be patient whilst you steer your country and people through this difficult period that is not of your making. Because I'm sure your own plans that you had for this country have been negatively affected. And now, I would like to end with a prayer. I would like to pray for your leader. That Lord God, you are the builder of all things. Bless the leader of Zambia to work together for the good of all his people. Grant them humility. And we pray especially for your servant, President Ichalima. Grant him your wisdom and love to lead your people, the Zambian people, in your ways of peace and prosperity. And to the family, we pray that merciful God, whose wisdom is beyond our understanding, surround the family of our brother Rupia with your love that they may not be overwhelmed by their loss, but have confidence in your goodness and strength to meet the days to come. We ask this through Christ our Lord. And finally, I pray for the soul of our President Banda. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us all with the gift of this earthly life and has given to our brother Rupia his span of years and gifts of character. God our Father, we thank you now for all his life, for every memory of love and joy, for every good deed done by him and every sorrow shared with us. We thank you for his life and for his death. We thank you for the rest in Christ he now enjoys. We thank you for giving him to us. We thank you for the glory we shall share together. Let light perpetual shine upon them. May his soul and the souls of the departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Thank you for your attention.